Good day and welcome to episode 5 of our Let's Play FTL Faster Than Light Advanced Edition. My name is Turt Dold. Let's get started. On the last episode we had another failure. Uh, we started again. Made it all the way to se the end of Sector 3. We're about to jump into Sector 4. Um, uh, ship's looking good. Uh, we added a few components. Uh, we might... Uh, I haven't... I don't have a lot of experience with beam weapons, but... Uh, might set up our beam weapon here and uh, try that out this sector we're gonna see a lot more higher leveled ships <clears throat> we got five charges to take down their shields and then hit them with the pike beam what's the thing on the pike beam 16 seconds hey eh? well we do have level 2 hacking well, what's our goal for sector 4 well again we're looking for that oomph weapon. I wouldn't mind getting a third bubble of shields maybe. Up our uh, engines for better evasion. We never did uh, find a good place to uh, level up our guys. Uh, so if we can find a place to level up our guys that, that would be nice. What's our weapon? He's almost there. So lots of stuff. Sector 4, here we come. Zoltan controlled or Mantis controlled? Uh, let's try Mantis. I don't know either or Zoltan. I know you hit a lot of those shielded guys. There's a store right away. Kind of a waste. Do I have anything to sell? Nothing, just a hull laser, but I wouldn't mind keeping that as a fourth weapon if I can. If I don't get anything else. Well, we can, it's a wasted jump if I go. I can get some fuel. Black. I kind of got to buy the flak and a burst laser. That's that oomph weapon I was looking for. I like to have about 15 fuel on me. Okay, that's one of these oomph weapons I was looking for. There we go. Now we're set up for the pike beam. Glad I went. Okay, he's got a missile. And uh, same as our weapon burst too. So we're gonna hack weapons give us some time to bring up the pike beam he's invading uh, who do I send these two guys I guess I, I don't want to send my weapon guy uh, well, I gotta send these two guys I don't want to send my weapon guy and I got a third guy there to back up. <clears throat> Watch my hack. Hack. Send in the flak first. Flak. Ah, uh, won't hit 
nothing. Uh, I want to maximize here. Down a shield one and took out the uh, missile launcher. Uh. Send this guy to heal. We're going to take a shot here. Oh, it's just a double, no triple. Ah, trying to set up these beams to maximize. Laser going to shields. Nice. <laughs> okay. And they're attacking again. <laughs> Same two guys. <clears throat> Too much going on, you get distracted and narrow focused and there's like ten things going on. to get healed again. He's our battle guy, I guess. So far, Pike Beam's performing. I don't want to get too far ahead. Laser. Well, attack. I guess that's why you got pause, right? So you can watch everything. Attack. Burst laser, light beam. Nice. Okay, this guy's gotta go heal. This guy's gonna come in.
give them some missiles. And they upgraded our reactor. I didn't have oxygen on because that guy was moving around. can think about getting a fourth weapon on, but uh, I'd rather have a third shield bubble or upgraded reactor. <clears throat> Well, same, same process. We're in Mantis territory, so they're gonna be uh, coming after us. Uh, their borders. Locate a nearby human mining colony where an unknown disease is spread virulently. They are setting up a quarantine to contain it, but a riot has broken out. Now we got a blue option because uh, we got an NG. Send your NG to calm down the infected. I think that's what we'll do. And we get, uh, with no fear of catching the disease, your NG crew member helps reassure the and organize the infected humans, calmed by its extensive knowledge of human physiology. The infected submit to the quarantine in hopes that a cure can be found soon. The colony leaders offer a reward for helping to prevent an ugly incident. Uh, to, to fuel, some missiles and some scrap. Could almost uh, look for a store. in behind or up here. Let's go up here. See a missile and I don't know what that other one is. That could be a beam. That's a single shot laser. That's a missile. I don't know what that is. But we are gonna hack. That's an ion weapon. And they are boarding again. They're going into healing, which is good for us. Could let them in. <clears throat> See, he's got three shields. So I gotta get through the three shields. my pike weapon to work. I got five shots, uh, like the flak will probably take out the shields, or close, the burst laser will take out whatever's left. Perfect. And pike beam, where's his shields?
And this will prevent him from running away because he wants to repair, right? So even if he thought about running away, he probably won't because he wants to repair up his ship. Uh, I want to make sure his shields are offline. We'll do the same. Yeah, beams, eh? <laughs> There's better beams than the pike beam. Pike beam's lowly. We had a halberd beam, which is probably one of the strongest beams in the game. Just, I never had a lot of experience playing. At this point, you almost expect a fight with the Mantis, but this beacon appears to be entirely devoid of other ships. You take the time to catch your breath and double-check the ship systems. <clears throat> so, nothing. Okay, we're one jump away, so let's jump. A young mantis is in a charred uniform, has teleported into the deck. He begs for sanctuary from the NG and offers to serve in exchange for your protection. The NG have already traced the teleporter signal and are offering a deal in exchange for the prisoner. <clears throat> Side with the fugitive NG and fight the NG ship. Greed you offer up the mantis in exchange for a bounty. Well, we want a mantis, so... I think we'll get a mantis if we fight them. There we go. Uh, <clears throat> what do they have? An ion weapon, a beam weapon. Oh boy, I don't think I can hack. hacking here guys I'll try it I'm not there's a way to get by these guys but it's tough I got by. Oh, they shot it down. I turned it on too soon. I'll try it again. I don't want to waste too many. Uh... Ah, they shot it down again. I missed it. Okay, I'm not going to hack. I don't want to waste. I don't have too many uh, things here. I'm just about ready to go anyway. Uh, we'll send the flak first. First, where's his shields? Way over here. Wow, okay. That's a lot of damage. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty good. I took off some of his... Uh, there's a way to get by him, but he's got three that are going to shoot. And I'm just not good at it yet. Beauty of the flak, it's up fast. Of course, i got to wait for the pike beam. That's our main damage dealer right now. Yeah, look at all this damage. Look at that. It's one damage per room it hits. <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's a nice setup for the pike beam. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material, and we got a uh, mantis. So we got one, two, three, four of the six we need. So we got to check stores. If we want to do this quest, this uh, achievement. Okay, what do we 
we need for a second bubble of shield? <clears throat> 160. We could get it now. We're moving into the fifth sector. Mantis controlled. Uncharted nebula. These nebulas can be confusing. Ah, uh, do I want my third bubble of shield now, or do I want to see if I get a store right away? And see if we can get cloaking. We're in the fifth sector, and we got the couple of achievements. Swing in a prayer, I'm not sure what that one is. Uh, but we did unlock the NGA. You've entered a poorly classic. Congratulations by making it to the fifth sector. You've unlocked the NG ship. I don't know what that other one is. We'll look at it when we get there. And we get a star right away. So I can do these two couple of jumps to get to the store. Let's try it. I might regret not... Uh, Getting that third level of shield. Looks like he's got a missile launcher, so we're gonna hack. And an ion weapon. He's got some kind of drone. <clears throat> well, that's an early hack. I got a hack. Hopefully my pike beam does me good. Nice. Uh, see, I took down my shield, Derek. And now I'm going to get beamed. I didn't take off the beam. Oh, what am I doing? I'm getting damaged here, guys. Can't get my shield up fast enough. There we go. Okay, black. Let's flack that. Burst laser. And hopefully our pike beam will uh, take it offline. There we go. Took a little bit of damage there, but that couldn't be helped. Could have hacked that, but the missiles are more dangerous. I believe. Well, hopefully they'll have uh, cloaking and then we're set up. We'll have all our systems and it's just working on our ship. Come across a large trade station, however, as soon as you approach, a warning goes out to all ships in the region. Do not associate with the Federation sympathizer. All who oppose the rebels will be punished. Search among the stores to see if you see if someone will sell to you. Okay. Mind control. I gotta send somebody in to distract him so he doesn't destroy our stuff. Do I need a hack? I think I need a hack. If I had third shield, I don't think I would need a hack here. But he does get three shots and he's got a bomb. Okay, let's hack. Send this guy to the med bay. I don't think he has enough time to uh, destroy that. Let's flack his weapon. Burst laser. Pike beam. Yeah. 
Well, we took his, uh... Okay, let's send this guy to heal. My pike beam, I shot the burst laser first. Shouldn't have done that, but hey. Mistakes are made, but we got the uh, dreaded mind control offline. out. Two stores, so I got a choice. <clears throat> Another flak. Do I go for two flaks? Strong uh, setup. I have the pike beam as our fourth weapon if we get a fourth weapon. Do I have anything to sell? I can sell that. store to visit. If there's no uh, weapon thing here, uh, we'll uh, upgrade our shield. Okay, he's sending the big guns here. I'll send the NG in here and we'll send this guy in there. Kept the pike beam instead of the burst laser, but the burst laser is so handy. Okay, I gotta move these guys to heal. See how they just kick your butt, eh? They just kick your butt. There's nothing you do about it. Even with all the training, see, look at how much health we lost already. Mind control, I could go for a crew kill. Uh, 
let's try and go for a crew kill here. Another fire. Yeah, if I had mind control, I could go for a crew kill. I just get them to kill each other till they're down to one guy. Yes. Now we're cooking with gas, boys and girls. One more, just to have extra bucks. Cloaking or mind control. Goodbye, uh, that, and we're one away. Let's buy some drone parts. I don't need fuel. And let's get our third shield. Cool. Recognize the outline of a mantis ship against the blackness. Engage. Can't damage me much. It all depends on what that bomb does. Could almost train here. He is going to board us with two guys. But I think we can handle it. Yeah, he can't hurt us at all. Ah, uh, two mantises. Well, I do have a rock. And I can kind of vent these guys out. I'll put this guy up here. And we'll get some training here. I can send this guy in just to distract them a bit. So they don't destroy that before, uh, yeah, there he goes. Okay, good. We're going to send all these guys in here. They don't have a heal bay, right? Nope. Okay. Yeah, these guys are all going. I'm gonna kill these guys. I am going to send this guy to heal because he's weak. I don't want to lose that guy. We'll send the NG in there to repair that. We'll close doors and open doors. Cool. They ran away already. Wow. We lost a crew member? Really? 
What, was that a firebomb or something? Wow, we lost a crew member. That shouldn't have happened. Okay. Wow, they're really after me here. Let's send uh, this in there. Wow, that was uh, a little suspect there, guys. Just a little bit. Send the NG in to get repaired. I just wanted to... That was the last thing I expected was... Uh, to uh, lose a crew member like that. Send that guy down there to repair. Send these guys in. Let's send everybody in that needs to be repaired. The thing is, it doesn't do system, it doesn't do hull damage, it's just system damage, see? Uh, I guess because my shields are down. I got a damage there. Eventually he'll run out of bombs, right? Uh, he's getting lucky here on hits. Or he's hitting the right things at the right time. I made a mistake. I think I should have just killed this guy because it would have been an easy kill. He's hitting the right things at the right time. Uh, there's no way he should get through my shields. I got three shields. Uh, but uh, his bomb hit the right thing, I guess. And he killed a crew member at the right time. I hit the bomb at the right place and killed a crew member. But it was a human. But one of my trained humans. I just want to repair my thing here. Why you got him? Uh... Okay, so we got one, two, three four, five different uh, guys. So we just need one more. Uh, I don't know what, what it would be. I think he's out of bombs. So if I hit oxygen, who would he send? Mantis? One of the mantises. So, that for sure now he can't hurt me. I lost my weapons guy, eh? That's not good. Yeah, this boarding thing is crazy. I could hack O2. I was gonna train. Oh well. All my engines in that are fine. I don't have a weapon guy anymore. damage there than I should have and I lost a vital crew member that I shouldn't have either. <clears throat> oh well. We did get a crew kill. 
a lot easier when you got uh, mind control. Well, that's a hack. He's got three shields. And they're coming in for the uh, thing again. That's fine. Do the same thing I did last time. Send this guy to heal. That guy's dead. Both of these guys are dead. Uh, let's uh, see if I can uh, get them to burn out. Let's put everybody back in their spot. O2's done again because of that stupid thing of moving the Zoltan around. Okay, let's see if we can burn them out. Just one got two guys left. not gonna happen. Should have taken that out. Should have taken the old two out, but they would have repaired it. I need a uh, mind control for this to work properly. Unfortunately, we haven't got it yet. the station and look for survivors. We could lose a crew member. We'll just scrap some debris. Slug controlled nebula. Well, we're going to get mind controlled a lot, I think. Nebula sector.
surprised to find a ship without slug markings stranded all the way out here and move in to provide assistance. When you see the pirate insignia on the hull, you quickly reconsider. Attack. Well, let's do our usual here. Okay, where is he? Okay, let's bend. This guy's gonna move over here. Let's hack. Hack and flack. we're in a nebula and we can't see what's going on. They're trying to get out of there because it's all out. They tried to do our oxygen. We could uh, hack and flack that so they can't get back. And they'll just die. They're powering up their uh, thing now. We're trying to take out our uh, We do not accept. They made it. <laughs> they made it all the way through that with no oxygen. Close the doors. Open the doors. I still beat the crap out of my Zoltan. saving up my money so I want to upgrade my engines to upgrade our evasion I'm saving up our money to see if I can get cloaking or mind control <clears throat> I got the weapons I need want I don't need anything else uh, we got top-notch weapons uh, pretty good it's lucky we got a couple plaques could have done it with the weapons we had but it would have been tougher I think I don't know if I'm going to go with four weapons or four shields. If you go with four weapons, it's tough to go with four shields. There are a number of small stations lit up by guiding lights and advertisements. Only slug ships are docked, so you decide it's better to avoid a confrontation and steer clear. Let's close our doors. There's a store. Perfect. There's mind control. We can get one of these guys and have that uh, thing. They make really good pilots because they can't be mind controlled. Well, let's get this achievement. There we go. We unlock the Kestrel B. Let's get mind control. by a power. There you go, we got that achievement. Wow. I am going to have my Mantis stand guard here. And I'm going to put him in there. But now we get kind of a... Uh, we can see crew. Let's look at the Mantis here. Or the uh, slug. 
<clears throat> Maxwell. These Maxwell Slug. These telepathic slugs were stunned in the Galactic Federation for their constant thievery and attempts at manipulation. He's a shield guy, eh? And a repair guy. Telepathic powers reveal rooms and life forms even when sensors are down, immune to mind control. So we can kind of see in their ship. We see, you'll see when we uh, come across a ship, we'll see shadows, no matter if it's in a thing or if we have somebody in the room. You explore around the beacon and are shocked when a rock the size of a small moon suddenly looms ahead of you. Scans reveal the solid looking rock is just a husk almost entirely mined out of useful material. Let's save this setting. This area is the nebulous, seems entirely empty until a small slug transport and its escort emerges suddenly from through the clouds and only to disappear again in a matter of seconds. A slug transport ship is stationed near the beacon with a military escort ship. They message you. We have been waiting for a customer for ages. Care to see our wares? Ask to see is good. See, he's got four shields. But before we get ahead of ourselves, we need to explain some ground rules of the transaction. These are dangerous times. Yes. Uh, we got a blue thing because of our slug. Slug crew member. Our slug senses someone aboard the ship investigated. It looks like the merchant was trying to stall you while someone teleports on board. You catch him before he could finish. He teleports away. You may immediately prepare for battle. There you go. <clears throat> see, we get to see shadows of guys because we have a slug. They're, they're uh, telepathic. So we're going to do our usual here. Hack and flack. Hack and flack. We can't use mind control because they're immune to mind control. So, hack and flack. Oh, they got. Uh, okay, they're gonna get a shot on us. Unless I can get my hack. Okay, he got one ion shot. It could do some damage, he can get through our shields. That pike beam could hurt. Well, hopefully we can take something off. something off. Ah, we could, uh, hopefully our shield guy's good. Yeah, he did nothing. killed two of his crew members. We are completely safe. The next shot will kill those two guys that are in there. And it'll take them a while to get in there to fix their weapons. I could hack if I needed to. I don't need to. Hack and flack, man. That's a good strategy. Wow, I don't know why that 
missed, quite honestly. Well, we could go for shields now. Yeah, we took out those two guys, see? Yeah, let's hit shields. Make it easier. You can't hurt us. Nobody's really in there repairing. And I got hacked anyway. So. No, no surrender. He's charging up to leave, so. We gotta take out his. Wow, he might get away actually. Yeah, he's gonna get away. Wow. Ah, uh, we'll try it. Yeah, he got away, bugger. Hit his cloaking. I should have went after his cloaking, I guess. Instead of shields. Disappointing. Our O2. Wow. Wow, I gotta end this fight fast. Well, hack and flack. I gotta end this fight really fast. He hacked our O2. getting pretty low on O2. There we go. <laughs> We're in the warning zone on O2. He hacked our o oxygen. Well, we gotta sit here for a minute. to upgrade my engines 1545 yeah that was a scary one man <clears throat> would have been in trouble if we had weaker weapons This is the furthest I've been. I never got past four when I 
was practicing, so this is the furthest I've been. Boy, I can't get down here, eh? That would have been kind of a trap to come down there, eh? Hack and flack again. It's all slug, so I can't do the mind control thing to try to get a group kill. You can hack, but I just don't want to get shot by a missile. Oh boy, they're doing this again. And they got mind control, but I can counteract it with my mind control. <laughs> Oh boy, that hack just made it. Wow. So you want to shoot your flax to take down the shields and maybe do damage, and then your burst laser comes in after, right? Like that, see? Then you shoot your burst laser, three shots hits. <laughs> Your burst laser would never get through three shields. It could possibly take down the shields. That's the best it could do. Well, we're going to get hit by a missile. <clears throat> Maybe. And counteract his... Okay, is this, where's this missile going to hit? Our hacking. Wow. Wow. Let's send our NG in there. It's a perfect shot for them, because they'll get another shot on their missile, possibly. Yeah, he's got another shot on his missile. That was a perfect hit. And his missile missed. Evasion, 30%. Our hacking is just to hold back up. But uh, I think we got this under control. What? Let's take out that dam. Uh, cloaking. I don't know if I... Uh, gonna happen again or not. We will not accept. They've got a clone bay. Doesn't matter. Be dead. Could take out shields. Oh wow, complete whip. Didn't mean to hit that, but that's a hurt. Burst laser isn't doing it. <sighs> uh, do I want to keep hitting shields? My burst laser just doesn't want to hit that part of the... Okay, where is he? Yeah, it's not hitting that part of the uh, map for whatever reason. Okay, I gotta go after weapons. But I do have a hack.
Oh, I want to get cloaking eventually. Oh boy, that's that glaive beam. He can hit through two layers of shields. It's the most powerful weapon in the game. If you can get it online, it takes four power. <clears throat> you can do a one-shot build. Have two glaive beams and just hack uh, uh, shields. Have cl use cloaking. Started a fire. See, this would be a lot easier if I could use uh, uh, mind control, because what you do is you mind control the guy in the uh, uh, the uh, um, piloting, and then it takes away their evasion completely, so you don't miss. <laughs> <laughs> right? I can't use mind control here. That's why I like having mind control. Because uh, when you shoot, you just before you shoot, you, you uh, mind control the guy in the uh, piloting and then they got no evasion. But I can't do that here. We're in slug territory. Hopefully I can show that off in the next area if we don't get wrecked. Get nickel dimed on damage here. Killed one. Uh, we can go for cloning bay. Or just keep hitting. Uh... Well, I don't want to go for weapons. That's kind of a uh, lame. Let's go for cloning bay. Kill that one guy off. Unless he clones. Yeah, he cloned. I'll go for shields. Okay, they're not running because he's out of his place. He's trying to fix his shields and cloning bay. Let's go for weapons again. Since they brought him up. I got enough to, uh, am I going to have to jump? I think I got enough time to get around. Big missile, ion weapon, and a burst laser of some sort. It's rare for the slugs to stay exposed in open spaces for long periods. The ship here may be lost or just passing through, but either way he moves in to attack. Boy, I gotta get cloaking. <laughs> I'm saving my money to try to get cloaking. The next store doesn't have it, then I'm gonna upgrade my engines. Maybe upgrade hacking to level three. I need drone parts soon too, but they're not dropping any. Yeah, eventually he'll get through my shields, eh? Uh, let's hack. Oops. Thing's still on, but I'll get another shot before he can shoot. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Come on. Cloaking, eh? 
because it stops our weapons from uh, uh, cooling off, but theirs keep cooling off. Oh, he's going to get a missile shot. No, he didn't. Wow. That worked out good. Now we got hacking, so I'm not too worried. These guys are going to burn to death. They don't have a cloning bay. One burned to death. Flackening, eh? What the flack is going on? Did I start another fire? Yeah. They're all in that one room. I wonder if this will take them out. Oh, it'll kill the ship. Oh, well. I want some crew kills. It's just hard to do without mind control. I'm sure it can be done. I just don't have the skills for that. I should make it. When it comes to slugs, no news is not necessarily good news. However, they are watching. They don't seem to want to confront you. Okay. One fuel for five missiles now. And exit. Uh, I could do that, get a little more scrap, or lose a crew member. I'm not going to lose a crew member. Scrap some of the debris. Uh, what I might do is upgrade my engines once more. I got enough for cloaking if I need it. I wouldn't mind getting a fourth weapon online or a fourth shield as well. And we're moving on to the next sector. Uh, I am going to call that an episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a good one. Turt Dold out. <laughs>